Hello, welcome to the Black Hat Show. I'm your host, the guy with the black hat. And you're on YouTube, I am the guy with the black hat. Welcome to the channel. Um, today we're doing a... Using the photo mode to do a armor like uh, presentation, I guess you could say. And because it looks so good doing the photo mode like this, I figure I'd just do every armor for you guys um, from beginning of the game to the end and um, doing their original color schemes, not using dyes. And then my next video will be of, like the swords, because there's lots of swords. I don't even have them all, but I'm going to do as many as I can. And then um, maybe re-up the video once I find all the swords, if there are more, which I'm sure there are. Alright, so, this is the uh, the first armor um, in the game. This, of course, is the like the battle-damaged Spidey armor, if you've played any Spider-Man games. Except, <clears throat> right off the bat, you're wearing this after the first battle. So, yeah. I would have loved it, maybe... Uh, if we at the end of the game got this armor fixed, um, that would be kind of cool. But it's alright. I mean, it wasn't the armor he was supposed to wear into battle, so I guess it, this is a uh, this is who Jin was and who he is now is someone different in the end game. But I like it. I still think it in the when you first start off, it was a really nice looking armor. I like the bandages, and I just I like the little details. I wish it wish there was a full armor set fixed and looking good, but who oh will? Looks pretty good. I gotta say the photo mode in this game is just eye dropping. Yeah, I said eye dropping, not jaw dropping. Eye, eye popping, whatever. I'm not stupid. I know what I meant. Don't say anything. Anyway, here we go. This is a. Uh, this is the first set of armor in the game, and let's go ahead and switch. All right, this is the next set of armor you get in the game. Um, as you progress through the story itself. Very, uh, I guess to me it's very standard samurai armor. I definitely, this is the upgraded version of it, so this is after you get level 3 or level tier 3 of this armor set. Um, figure I show off just the uh, the finished product versus each stage. It would just take way too much effort to do that. And I'm, I'm, I'm definitely uh, getting back into content grading, being a little lazy. But I figure this is still the best representation of the armor with the uh, the crescent the uh, crescent moon on the helmet, which was uh, the reason why I like this armor. I never actually used it because it's not my style, but the armor is still, I mean, if you're going for that true um, samurai, just the aesthetic of that feel, this is definitely it. Um, they got some different, different color schemes that really make it pop, um, but... You get a better set um, as you progress through the game that I feel is just a bit better than this one, especially when it comes to the perks that it comes with. Now this one has a beginning armor, uh, definitely nothing to, uh, to frown upon. So anyway, this is that uh, a Samurai Clan armor. Alright, let's switch to the next set. All right. Uh, this is not the next set of armor in the uh, as you progress through the uh, the game. This is actually a pre-order armor. I thought uh, I didn't I didn't ever use it. Didn't really care for it. The perks are really good if you, um, when you're starting off of the game, increase health, um, things of that nature. Uh, and there's no other color scheme for it, so it's the main reason why I didn't use it. I'm not a big fan of turquoise and those colors of blue. When it comes to when I'm, you know, like if I'm dressing, I'm I'm not wearing that, but I still think the armor is still is great aesthetically, um, very samurai, right? I uh, wish you could change the colors around, but it was the first mask you get in the game, um, besides the offering mask that you get as you progress. This was the first mask right off the bat, and I still liked it. The gold and the uh, 
I guess the the whiskers and the little goatee thing was nice, and I like the uh, the fur it reminds me of like a wolf hide or something like that. So it's still a nice piece of armor. Definitely, um, if you know you're okay with this color scheme and you need this right off the bat, hey, it looks great. Um, but the next piece of armor I'm going to switch to is one I use probably for a good, I would say, not half of the game. Honestly, no, actually, I would say about almost half of the game. So we'll switch to that armor now. But this is the uh, the pre-order armor if you uh, pre-order it offline. Alright, let's switch. Alright, this is the uh, next set of armor. The, um, I can't even say this. It's it's the archer's armor. Um, I, think, I think it's the only armor in the game that is that gives complete um, that gives a strategy for the archery part of this game, uh, bow and arrow, whatever you want to call it. Uh, very nice set of armor. This of course is the fully upgraded version or the tier three. Of course, I've got the tier four. That just increases the perks. Um, doesn't change in any past tier three. I didn't really. I I use this armor, but I used it with some different accessories, different uh, hat. Um, and once I was able to get this solid black, which looks really good black, I used this. I would say f at least half of the game until you know I received the uh, the ghost armor, the main armor of this game. But well, that's not even true. I used it until I received um, the next set of armor down the line. I'll show you guys shortly. But, um, yeah, no, I used the, a different straw hat. I used one of the flatter ones you bought. You can buy in the beginning from one of the vendors for flowers. Uh, I think it's like the pattern hat, something like that. It looked really good with it. Um, and this is the, uh, this is what I used, um, for the majority of, like I said, a good portion of the game. Very nice legendary or mythic armor set. I really enjoyed using it, and uh, yeah, it's got some nice design to it. I didn't like parts of it, but you know, eh, beggars can't be choosers. It still looked really good, and it was still really decent for the. Really, this is another set you got really soon in the beginning of the game. Really nice. I can't say this name. It's like Toy Toshida, something like that. I'm I'm not good at pronunciation. Let's just go with it good archer armor right here alright so if you're looking for armor that's gonna really support the you know bow and arrow then this is that set of armor alright let's switch alright this is the next set of uh, armor and it's really it's not really an armor it's more like an outfit this is the Ronin outfit you receive um, once again during the main uh, quest of the game. This is, of course, the, the the fully upgraded version with the straw hat. This doesn't have any dye to it. This is this is the uh, first solid black. Well, mostly black. Uh, I I call it black. It definitely looks more like a midnight blue, especially with the patterns in there. But still, mostly dark um, attire. Let's call it attire, not armor. That you receive in the game. Uh, definitely supports more of a stealthy play play style. Um, I didn't use this armor because I had that other armor from uh, the other previous armor on this list, the archer's armor, which I thought was far superior just because its abilities and and perks really let you uh, let me enjoy that particular play style. But this still looked really nice, and it's used several times in the game. Um, some of the uh, the end game you wear this so I mean it looks good definitely is much more traditional for that the uh, the leisure attire of a samurai I wouldn't see these guys just like strolling about in battle with this on but you know we'll go with it it definitely looks good the sash holding the swords the katanas definitely uh, very nice effect I really enjoy that it looks good all right so this is the Ronin armor. All right, let's switch. All right, this is the next set of armor. 
and I completely forgot what it was called, but I couldn't even remotely pronounce it to you. Uh, another set of armor, mythic armor, you don't acquire during the main quest line. It's just a, you know, it's a mythic tale. Um, probably one of the coolest, most like authentic, reminds me of Last of the Samurai, badass, really cool um, um, samurai armor. Definitely, I, I love it. Just the way it looks, it's great looking. The, the, the full headdress is just fantastic. And uh, the one of the color schemes you can buy from the merchant, the guys who take flowers, makes this red and black. Ooh, it is smooth. Looks great. Uh, definitely, if you're trying to go for that samurai, true samurai kind of warrior uh, aesthetic, this is that armor right here. Just beautiful. The details, uh, the armor plating, the way it's set, it just looks good. And then you get to that helmet. It's, this is beautiful. I mean, you can really tell that that um, these developers, they really, uh, they knew what they were doing. In photo mode, you can really see the detail. And it makes this just... I mean, look at the the gold inlay, the the, the, the I guess almost like the the 3D textures of it. That I mean, I wouldn't expect to see not to this point, but you can see how it reflects light um, in the photo mode and in the game too. But obviously, you can really kind of zoom in and see the fibers and all the different layers. Beautiful armor set, just absolutely gorgeous. I'm not gonna lie, probably one of the the most attractive out of this list. Just because you get the right color scheme, even I mean, even with this color scheme, gorgeous. I could definitely like I would have this in my house, probably just sitting somewhere, because that's how beautiful this is. I definitely like it. So, uh, oh, love it, love it, appreciate it. So, uh, all of its colors and features of this particular outfit. It's great, great, great. Perks are pretty good too, with like increased to uh, like an extreme increase to health or damage reduction, you know, what, what do you generally expect from a uh, battle armor like this? But anyway, I begin, this armor begins with the G, it's like, God, why can't, I'm not even going to try, I'm not even going to butcher it, just forget about it. This is a mythic set of armor, looks really good, looks great, I believe it's the second set of mythic armor, uh, the first one is that archer armor you saw earlier on this list, but uh, yeah, alright. Let's switch. Alright guys, this is the next set of armor. I can actually pronounce this. This is... No, I can't. Sakura? Sa Saka? Sakura? This is Sakura armor. It, it's the main character's family armor. The armor his father wore um, before he died. Obviously, it has the symbol of the family. I also have the swords. I've been using the same swords, just so you guys... This is the, the first set of swords. This is his sword, the family swords, that match this armor and have the family crest on them. Um, this is the second armor that I really utilized in the game. Uh, first, using that, that archer style, and then using this. Um, of course, this is the fully leveled up version. Uh, the tier uh, tier three, of course, doesn't progress any further than this when it comes to like uh, how the armor changes the helmet and the mask. Um, this is uh, this. Uh, I mean, I like this armor. I like its perks. Um, I, I, bef I prefer the the first version or style of this armor. I think it looks better. Um, it's just simpler. It reminds me more of someone who would be, if you're in this particular situation when you're kind of roaming your countryside. I'm not sure if I want these. Uh, I'm not sure if I want these. Uh, these shoulder guards or that. The uh, just the the length of this. It's too. It's too rigid. It really looks like dragon scales, which is beautiful. You know, don't get me wrong. This is a beautiful set of armor. Um, but when I play games, especially games like this, I tend to like try to role play them, I guess you could say. And I just I couldn't get behind this set of armor. It's just too much. Too much now like if I was gonna new if I knew there were certain set pieces coming up that were fights, you know, I would I would obviously switch to this and use those. Um but in the end I would just stick with the, the, the first 
the basic tier of this armor. The perks are great. They extend your kill streak when you're doing like the showdown, which is really cool. So it went from like I think I have base three, then four, then five. So you could clear out an entire um, you know group of enemies would be really close to having none left. Really good armor. Really nice. I thought this was the armor of the main game, what's on the cover at first, especially when you first get it. Um, it doesn't have these shoulder pieces, just ha kind of has that base you see there with the, the leaves. Looks really good, and of course had that symbol. Um, really nice armor, also really intricate, really hard to see all the details, because it's, it's so black against the... Uh, I mean, there's nothing, there's no contrast. You can see him. Mean, I can get in there, and you can see there's some symbols on his helmet, you know, but the uh, the reflective nature of the metal really makes it hard to see. Um, which is okay, because there's not a great amount of detail. You know, there's detail, but there's nothing you're going to miss here. So, great armor. Looks beautiful. Really, something else I would, I love the antlers, so something I would definitely have, like in my house if I could, just kind of chilling somewhere. Looks great. Um, the mask, uh, probably one of the coolest masks in the game, just because of the bared fangs and the like, the red lining. Uh, the ghost mask you get down the line here in the next armor set you'll see um, looks good, but this mask is a lot more just to me just it's just a lot scarier, a lot more intimidating. It reminds me more of like you know a, a bestial creature than anything else because those fangs are good. I like it. Really good. Um, like I said, this is the the original color scheme. You of course can get a black color scheme that changes some of the patterns up and really kind of blends in the symbol. But I think I think that this was black enough. You really didn't need to do that. And so I ended up using this color scheme for the base armor, um, the tier one. Looks really good. Didn't use the helmet. Used the bandana. Bandana looks really smooth, especially if you use um, some of the ones that have the uh, that are that are already kind of black, black bandanas with almost like gold lettering. Really fits the armor style. Looks great. Yeah, like I said, I use this not nearly as long as the archer set. Maybe when it comes to storyline, maybe maybe I don't know, less than a quarter. But that's still a lot of the story, and of course, until you get the uh, the better set of armor, uh, then I then I use for the remainder remainder of the game, and we'll get to that armor set soon. But anyway, this is the uh, Saka Sakura family armor. Uh, looks really good. You get this as you progress through the main uh, story quest line. So here you go, and let's switch. All right, guys. Here's the next set of armor. Um, this is the uh, one of the armor sets that we see in the uh, the gameplay trailers of this game. It, this is the upgraded version of it. They show off. I guess it's the second tier of this armor without the fur. So you can, if you uh, the straw parts of this outfit should look familiar to you. Of course, this is the refined version or the 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 fourth tier of this armor set. So we got a different uh, hat or straw hat which is one of my favorites and I've been using it ever since I, I got it just because it's so uniform, it's smooth, it's got that nice color of, of that like almost that onyx black, it's got that sheen, it's just really nice looking and to me it just really fits kind of like that dark visage I was going for with my character. Um, I used, didn't use this armor just because the um, the previous armor on this list perks were just better and I didn't really use the ghost weaponry which this armor set really complements so things like you know kunai or the sticky powder or whatever sticky bombs and black powder I just don't use that stuff it doesn't occur to me to use it when I fight I either kill most of my enemies with the showdown or I'm using stealth so just really not not really functional armor, but if you're into using gadgets, kind of like, I guess kind of like Batman here, um, this would definitely suit your playstyle. I think it increases their damage and their effectiveness by like 50% on both sides there. So something like that. I know, I know, I know that it it helps with those ghost weapons. Really cool armor. I think probably one of the most. I don't know, just. 
I don't know, it's just kind of like badass. It's the most badass armor, excuse my language. It's got so much going on with it. So many different layers, I guess. It's not intricate like some of the armor sets. It's just got so much going on. It's just enjoyable to look at. From the layers of the, I guess, the uh, the, the kimono. Yeah, that's how you say it, kimono. Uh, and the different... Uh, like I said, the different layers, almost like he's got a different coat on, or it's just an extension of that, and it looks really good. You got different shadings of the the blues and the symbols. Everything just looks really good. Makes the outfit come together really nice. And then of course you have the uh, the straw. I guess it's supposed to be like just a, a basic armor. I don't know what that would protect you from. And then the wolf's fur that was on one of the other armor sets looks really good here it's just nice nice dark the way it wraps and sits really nice I do like the way this one looks um, I have a couple gameplay videos where I've used this armor it, it just looks good it looks good it's got a lot of, a lot of going on like I said it, and then something that's kind of appealing um, just because it's got so much going on it's so much to look at from the the prayer beads to the to the double, almost like looks like looks like a triple sash going on there. Like I said there's a lot going on, and then I love the uh, the gauntlets or you know the the gloves here, just because they kind of like their armored, uh, almost like their armored fists, which when you're using the sword or when you're when you had your hands extended, looks like they almost completely line his fingers like a pair of gloves. Which the only other armor that does that is that archer's armor. So I kind of like that, you know, glove to fit fit for the uh, the character. But yeah, really nice armor. Wish I could pronounce half the names of these sets. Uh, this is uh, you get this from another mythic quest where you uh, duel five straw hat uh, Ronins, and then you fight that final one. I have those gameplay. Um, those duels up on my channel as well if you want to see them including the final one where you see the uh, it's like a, it takes place in a cave where you see the the final uh, straw hat wearing the base version of this armor and of course just like I said this is the the tier 4 and then the tier 2 armor is the one we've seen in the uh, the gameplay trailers for this game you know back a year ago with a different tie a, di a different Tie, yeah, yeah. He's wearing a tie, a different dye that makes the uh, the top part there red or orange, I guess. So I was able to kind of recreate that at a at one at one at one point. But I like it. This one, this is what I wear if I'm using this outfit, just like it is here. Looks really good. Really, I just I think this is probably one of the most most it's most complicated, oddly attractive. Um, attire or armor sets in the game especially that helmet uh, that hat excuse me that helmet it's a hat um, probably probably the coolest head accessory that we get just because of uh, I don't know just it looks good and looks good with whatever armor set you put it with if you're using black dye which of course um, I do use but anyway this is that armor set hope you guys like it and the next armor set's gonna be my personal favorite. I think probably most people's personal favorite, just because of what it, um, how you get it, what it represents, and it's the armor we've seen since this game was, um, you know, originally uh, revealed. So let's switch then. All right, so. This is the uh, this is my favorite armor, and I think it's most people's favorite armor. With a few tweaks, I've seen some other gameplay videos of uh, of uh, content creators who use the uh, the same hat from the last armor set, which so do I. Um, you know, I think it just it completes the look. Uh, the headband. I mean, this is this entire outfit. This is the upgraded version. Um, it doesn't. It uh, the upgraded version gives you a nice cape or cloak which looks really good it adds the kunai um, and just adds some like an extra almost like a coat on top of the armor set which looks really good and when you get the uh, the black dye and then that helmet the uh, the hat the straw the well the refined hat from that last set 
it just puts it just sets its outfit apart makes it look really good you look like a badass it's it's great so this is my favorite armor set here um, like I said it, it's one of the the armor sets you get as you progress through the game you can't avoid it you gotta run into it beautiful armor set um, beautiful as in I mean it's just to me it's it's the it's the armor set it's what I was looking forward to from the very beginning of the game and uh, it's sad how you get it but it just you know it's got so much so much to enjoy about it the features of the armor um, really kind of send home that feeling of the of the progression of this character so, you know you really it really drives that point home and what it does the uh, the causing your enemies to be terrified of you which you know was the whole point of uh, his transformation from samurai to the ghost uh, it's a great armor set looks really good feels good when you use it you know and I enjoy it it looks great it looks really good it's not nearly as a uh, intricate as other armor sets is definitely was uh, one of the sets that was put together uh, for the character which you know if you play the story you know this already um, it looks great I like it this is the obviously like I said this is the uh, the fully upgraded version tier 4 so this is how it looks once you upgraded it the, the base version is a little bit different color scheme you can see a little more of it from uh, from what the coat is covering up but I like this one it gives that little sash around the neck it gives a nice cloak on the back looks good when you're walking um, I was gonna have the wind kind of showing you that effect and I might when I get to the last armor set or when I'm done with the armor set I'll probably uh, give you guys what I use I'll show you what my guy looks like uh, so you guys get the idea of how I play and what I play with my uh, on my set of outfit, my outfit going on here, how it looks. But anyway, this is the ghost armor. You get it um, by playing the main campaign, the main storyline, quest line, whatever you want to call it. Looks really good, really nice, attractive set. Um, like I said, one of my favorites. I think it's a lot of people's favorites just because it it really uh, it complements that stealth ghost gameplay game style or play through whatever you call it all right there you go and let's switch all right guys we have two more armor sets left or one more after this one now this is the uh, the Mongol armor set um, this armor set um, that was that you get um, another mythic uh, not, it's not even mythic actually this is just a quest line once you uh, once you get the ghost armor and you've kind of been exiled to the last region of the game, this is this the uh I guess it's actually this is really the last armor set you get, technically. Um, after the ghost set. Uh, you know, it is what it is. I don't use it. It's obviously not samurai. It's not anything. Its only advantage is, is that it allows you to be more sneaky because you're disguised as the enemy. So obviously, there's that perk. Um, that's about it. I mean, it looks pretty good. I, it just looks like all the other enemies, but, you know, still. It's got some nice uh, features or perks to them. And there's still some details in this armor. It still looks good. I'm a little prejudiced, though. I mean, it's not what I want in an armor set. I get why they put it in there, just because. Not really, but you know whatever I'll take it um, one of the f only one of the only outfits that completely covers your your you know from your head to your shoulders I would have loved to see a character uh, or and a you know an armor set that gave you a hood that'd be cool a hood with a you know almost like a cape type deal uh, you know what I mean that kind of style that would have been cooler than this but hey, still looks really good, detail-wise. I mean, it's definitely got that, you know, it's aesthetically very nice. There's no denying it. it's very well done. Um, the developers absolutely outdid themselves with, I mean, everything in this game. Ever, absolutely everything. It's just this game is 
a beauty to play. That's that's a way of phrasing it. A beauty to play. Yeah. It's a beauty. Love it. Charming, beautiful, amazing work of art. And if you know you're you enjoy works of art like this game, then hey, good for you cuz that's I think it's something that we need to we need to accept this is this is how gaming should be right here. Gorgeous, absolutely fantastic. All right, we got one more set to go to, and then I will uh, give you guys my rendition, my characters, how I how I dress, uh, Jen. All right, let's switch. All right, guys, here is the uh, that final set of armor. That um, I mean, I guess it's not really the final set. It's the final set in this list. This is probably like, I guess technically the second set of armor you get when you play the game. I just, you know, it's something it's not, it's not something I really enjoyed. It looks okay. It makes him look kind of like a, you know, a wandering. I guess like a wandering. I don't know, almost like a peasant. I guess. It's look. It looks really good. I mean, it's it's got a very specific purpose. Um, this is one of the ones that was also in, you know, the original gameplay reveal. Um, so, you know, what it does is very good, very nice. It's got some features that are really attractive, you know, and there's some parts that aren't. This is the upgraded version, of course. The base version has, an, like, an open chest almost. So, you know, you get some more man hair than I felt like seeing at any one point. So this is one of the last things I upgraded. So it's one of the last ones I even think about. It's just I, it, I just didn't care about it. Basically, uh, I like it. It's okay. It doesn't really complement anything except exploration. So you know, it's gonna reveal more of the map to you, allow you to track certain things. So that's cool. You know, I I liked exploring kind of more organically, and this the way you explore is already incredibly organic. So a way you can explore with the wind and such uh, so those different mechanics but I like just kind of exploring letting the little the little birds find me and stuff like that so I didn't ever use this it, it allows you to use the wind to track almost everything in the game which is cool you know but in the end switching back and forth when I was a little bit more consistent with my armor type my armor set you know, made this armor just kind of sit in the back burner. Still looks, you know, looks okay. Uh, first time, you, the first armor that has a cloak to it, so that's really cool. Uh, looks good when you have, like, the wind effects and different, uh, the different effects, the different particles going on. Can look good, but, like I said, not my style. Looks okay. But this is that, uh, that last set um, so far. And then we're going to switch, and I'm going to show you guys... How I dress my guy up. Not really complicated. Not much different from the base version of the ghost outfit. Just got those, uh, the few different things I switched up, make them look cool. But anyway, um, anyway, this is that last set, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and switch here to that last set. Well, m not last set, but you know, my version of the ghost armor. All right, let's switch. Alright guys, this is the, uh, like I said, this is how I dress um, my gin up, my, my guy here. This is how I, I use uh, three different armor pieces. Of course, the base is going to be that ghost armor. Hope you guys enjoy. I have the wind going up really loud, so I hope my voice kind of comes through. It, it seems loud in my ears. But I did that just because I wanted you guys to kind of see, you know, the why I enjoy this armor. The different parts of it and how they work just form to make I just like a badass set here looks good when you're walking riding your horse or fighting the you know fighting enemies it just looks good um, great armor set I use uh, the Sokka armor the mask because uh, that's one of my favorites uh, the ghost armor mask is okay the ghost mask is okay but I prefer this one because it just has those the bared fangs and the, the just the detail of it looks really good uh, like bestial and kind of like you know you know like almost like a predator you know like you know like someone who's after it's ready to slit some throats you know what I'm saying it just 
looks like a monster, which I think, you know, is the point. It's supposed to instill fear in your enemies, and so this is my guy here. This is how I explore and play and do the missions, everything like that. I just enjoy it. I think it looks cool. It, uh, it's if I was a a samurai or I guess a dishonorable samurai, this is definitely what I'd be wearing. You know, hands down, looks awesome. It's got a great feel to it. It's got that solid um, black dye going on, so that looks great. And I just think it looks good. So anyway, guys, this has been the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I guess it is a video still, right? That's what they call it. I don't know. I'm both old and young enough to want to refer this to other things. Right, this is the content I've created for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, well, I'm sorry. Um, if you have, be sure to um, subscribe to the channel. All that that stuff. I really don't care. I just hope you guys enjoyed. I put a little work into it. Hope it uh, it comes out looking good. And if it didn't, and this is boring or I sound stupid, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I like it. I like being a little artistic, and I hope that this came out looking as such. Even though I couldn't pronounce half the armor armor names, I can't. I'm not even gonna bother. But anyway, like I said, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. I'm the guy with the black hat, and this has been The Black Hat Show. See you next time.